So um, I just wanted to share with you um, that I met Sarah um, because I would, she was interviewing me for Spotlight on um, the River Journal. And we sat together and it was an amazing interview because um, she asked me the kinds of questions that um, were so engaging and so exciting for me to talk about my art. And when she asked me to come here, my first reaction was, oh my God, April 4th, let me look at my calendar. Um, I hope I have something that I have to do. <laughs> I do not want to have to prepare. I was very busy and um, what it did for me was I learned that um, if I have to prepare, then I have to think about it and I get into my head. And my work is all about just going with the flow, listening to music, um, getting excited about color, and just starting. And as soon as I start to think, I get stuck. So I said, I will come here if you just ask me questions. I'm really comfortable talking about myself if there's a question. But if I have to prepare something, I'm not into it. So here we are. <laughs> and, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I will be asking Mary some questions. <laughs> okay, so the first question, uh, you already kind of said that. Let me just say, I am so grateful to be here. I am blown away by what I'm seeing. This, the level of creativity and art here is like, Congratulations to you. And you are Roxanne to me. I can't say your last no name. I've never learned it. Um, but this is beyond. This is, to me, this is like foundation. Um, this is what I learned at Pratt. Everything that you're doing, foundation year. Um, congratulations. We should have some to hear that. wondering if you could talk a little bit more about how you found your way into painting intuitively and kind of your transition from your career of pop art to going into abstract expressionism, like how you kind of found yourself doing abstract. Okay, so um, my training was um, very classical. Um, when I got out of college, I needed to make a living. The first thing, I, I got an, a degree to be an art teacher and a BFA to in art, and um, I got into that, I, what I learned in college was that I had an ability to look at something, a gesture, and understand the line, and get it very simply. And I started this kind of, I, I had a store, I started a um, graphics company, <coughs> and I started designing um, New York images. And they were they had a pop art feel, which I think I got from Alex Katz because he was he was one of my teachers. And it was very they were very simple, they were very graphic, and they were very eye catchy and very bright colors. So I started with that, and that was my day job, and it still is. Um, and then um, I always loved color. I always loved line. I always um, was just drawn to brilliant color. And when I finally figured out that I had to stay in my heart and not try to be something I wasn't, was when I started making that sort of thing and started being comfortable with just going with me. And that's how it all started. Uh, does that answer your question? Yes, that's <laughs> my next question. <laughs> next question. <laughs> so, what would you say are your inspirations for your art? Um, well, I, I think the color comes from nature. I mean, you look at a flower and it's like, it's like a miracle. It's a miracle of color. And I think I'm just drawn, it's just, I'm just drawn to brilliant color. I love brilliant color. Um, music, I love reggae music. I love to dance. Um, I play the drum. Um, I have an incredible amount of energy so that when um, I'm I get excited about doing something, it comes out of my drawing. My drawing is very energetic and it's very fluid um, and it's very quick. And I usually start with the drawing. And, then, and, and I don't know where the color, you know, it's, it's, 
like, I don't know where to call it. It's just, oh, that's what I'm drawing to. That's what excites me. <laughs> okay. Um, what would you say is the most rewarding part about being an artist? The process, um, just doing it. Um, when I'm in my studio and I'm making a painting and I'm totally into it and I'm not into all my judgments in my head and not thinking and just going with it, I love that. I love when um, somebody looks at my work and they get excited. Um, I love when somebody buys my work and they want to make with it. And it's like, oh my God, you know, like on a daily basis, they're, I'm part of their lives. Um, that's it. That's pretty much it. But it's really making the art and not thinking about what the product is going to be because you are making a product. And in this world of um, business and the art world, you're, you're, you can't, it's very hard to distance yourself from that you've made a product and what are you going to do with it and now you have the inventory and it's, like, it's building and I have like a basement full of paintings and what am I going to do with it and I have to, I have to stop thinking about that and just go for it. <laughs> so for my last question, um, I wanted to see if you had any advice for the students here that are thinking about pursuing art in college and doing that as a profession, like why would you say go for art, do art? I don't think it's a choice. Um, I mean, I think if it's in your heart and it's how you express yourself, which I feel about any creativity that um, you, you, you know, I've spent my whole life shedding the conditions of what I should have been or how I should pursue my life. And when I finally got to where no, I have to stay with my heart, and I have to stay what makes me happy, and um, I think that's where you have to go. You can't, um, it's too short, you know, you, you just, uh, it's your passion. Whatever your passion is, you have to do it, no matter what it is. <laughs> Thank you.